Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, welcome back to the channel. Hey, y'all know how I do on this channel, man. If y'all new here, man, y'all been missing out, especially if you want to be an x ray tech, uh, anything in the medical field, x ray, nursing, anything, man, you came to the right channel. Um, I'm probably one of the few channels, or possibly the only channel, that really gives you real insight on the medical field. I don't ever sit there and sugarcoat anything to be like, oh yeah, go for x-rays, the best thing ever. You know, it's, it's not it's not like that, guys. It's, it's, it's a little more complex than that. Um, school's not easy. All know the strong survive, let's be honest. Uh, but I'm here to show you other careers. I'm here to show you everything there is about x-ray. Um, and we're here to learn, man. Here to learn, here to support. Um, so with further ado, you know what I'm saying? If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. That definitely helps me out. And um, it helps my subscribers out too because there's a lot of people out there that don't know that x-ray channels exist. And that they do know that, not that they do know, but if other, the ones that they know exist, don't give you real information like I do. You know, and I'm just keeping it 100. You know what I'm saying? I'm not faking nothing out. I'm not trying to like buy subscribers here. I'm just being 110% honest on every video and I'm here to help you guys make the best decision for you not just for you right now but for you in the future man you know what i mean so look through my comments man see what see what they say man be like hey man your videos are good you know thank you for all the information you give me and i'm here man i'm here to keep it 100. so today's video man is about just the motivation man and the and, and the drive to be where you want to be in life and not to give up okay so uh, if you saw my short earlier, right, <laughs> I was cleaning my garage, you know, um, what's it called? Like daddy do list or whatever, right? So on my day off, on my weekend off, and I ain't done yet, <laughs> I got things to do at the house, which is fine. You know, I'm here to help my wife, my, you know, it's a, she stays home all day with the kids. So that's a full-time job itself. So I understand that. So when I, and don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect, you know what I'm saying? But you know, when I can, I'll help out. So anyway, we're cleaning the garage today, right? And I came across some things so this is my first one of my first programs i try to do i get a little bit closer if you want you can stop screenshot it whatever so this school right here and if you stay to the end i'll tell you why um i suggest people not going to private schools okay anyway stay to the end and i'll tell you why so medvance was a was a private school that I first went to and I was going for surgical tech. It tells you the date on here, 2004. 2004, bro, today is, that was 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Look how, look, look how young I looked. <laughs> but I'm blessed, man, I ain't gonna lie. But I went for surgical tech and I still remember going, going to surgical tech school and I was like, man, I want to be in the medical field, man. I want to wear scrubs. I want to look like I'm important, you know, and, um, you know, cause I grew up in a, in a, in a family. I grew up in a, uh, in, in a, in a family that worked in a field, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, farm workers, um, sugar cane, lettuce, you know, so I didn't know about, you know, working anywhere else besides the fields, right? Like, no, my parents didn't know. You know, but me, you know, going to school and seeing things, I'm like, man, I want to be in the medical field, right? So I went for surgical tech. I think I lasted, I ain't gonna lie, I probably lasted for like two months, maybe a month. <laughs> and it, I just realized, man, it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. And um, and I was like, you know what, man, I, I'm just gonna drop out, go to work, whatever. I think I didn't go back to school till six years later. Yeah, six years later, man. So. I wasted a lot of time, but at the same time, I was, I had to go through what I went through in order for me to to really appreciate what I have today, you know? Um, and then, this is the final school I went to. So this is this is the one I went to last. Yeah, so I went, uh, this don't have a date on here, unless it's on the back. Yeah, it don't have a date. So this school is where I went for x-ray tech, right? But I started uh, um, ultrasound, and this is how that happened. So I went to uh, I went to the school, and I was like, you know what? I want to be x-ray. They're like, okay, you know, it's a private school again. Okay, uh, test, take this test, and that that will that will tell you where you belong. So then um, I took the test, and supposedly I didn't score high enough to get into the x-ray program. So then they were like, you know, you qualify for ultrasound. And I don't know how that is, because I think ultrasound is way more harder and complicated than x-ray, but somehow I qualified for ultrasound. So I was like, you know what, man? I'm already, 
I think I was 27 years old at that time. And I was like, you know what, man? I'm 27 years old. I need to do so in my life. Let's get to it. All right. So I went to ultrasound school. I tried it. Um, well, not ultrasound school, ultrasound class, right? I tried that program. And I think I lasted like three months until, until after those three months, um, the very first day of uh, in, 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 the, in the program, uh, we got to scan each other as students. From the first day I started scanning, I was like, I cannot see anything. How am I supposed to go to, to be a, a professional and be confident in what I do when I can't see anything scanning? You know, and, and I knew from then on, I didn't want to be ultrasound, all right? So then I was like, I told him, I went to the to the dean. I was like, look, man, I was like, I know that I didn't qualify for x-ray. I already passed a certain amount of classes. Can I please, please get into the x-ray program? And this was, um, this was kind of like towards August, September. And the new x-ray class for that, for that particular school didn't start till January. So they were like, okay, that was in the morning time. They're like, okay, come back in the afternoon. Uh, we'll talk about it and see what we can do. I was like, thank you, you know, whatever. I was praying the whole day, you know, praying that they'll let me, you know, switch over to x-ray. So then uh, around, that was around eight o'clock, around one o'clock, they come into the office. They're like, hey, Juan, come to the office. You know, and they're like, look, man, we know you've been here. You've been a good student. You've been getting good grades. Uh, we're gonna let you transfer to the x-ray program. I was like, all right, cool. You know, I was like, okay, dude. So I start in January and they're like, no, you start tomorrow. So I was literally, boom, like that, pushed into the x-ray program. They already been to clinicals. They were already like positioning. They're, bro, I was so lost when I first got to class, man. It took me so, it took me like two or three months to kind of catch up. And then like from there, man, my career started, right? But this is the, the this is the more of the story and this is the more I made this video that no matter how many times you try, no matter how many times you went to school for whatever you decide to go for at that particular time and it did not work out, doesn't mean, bro, that you gotta stop there, all right? That just means that it was a it was a stepping stone, it was a block that God put into you and he put in a role for you to be like, you know what? This ain't for you. This, this is not gonna make you happy. This is not gonna support you. This is not what, you know, you're gonna go to work and and, and, and enjoy it. This is not for you. So I stopped doing surgical tech. By the grace of God, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. When I go to OR and I'm there with my C-arm, do you, do you understand how hard surgical techs have it? Bro, surgical techs get, they get treated. I'm not saying all of them. I'm not saying all the time. But surgeons can be mean, man. Surgeons can be mean, bro. And they let the surgical techs have it. So I was like, man, thank God I crossed that out the table, right? So then when I go to ultrasound, you know, I, we don't belong in ultrasound, you know, we don't get to see exams or nothing like that. We, we don't belong in that area when we go to work. But just by me scanning in class and scanning each other, like, bro, that was enough for me to be like, I can't see anything. This is not for me. Move it out the way. You know what I'm saying? Now here comes x-ray and x-ray is a whole different ball game. I can see the bones. I can see everything. I can see if there's a fracture. I can position, you know, like it was just boom. Like it kind of clicked. Now I'm not physics smart. You know, I don't know by the grace of God, I got the pass my registry, bro. Cause physics is not for me. Math is not for me, but I was determined. I went to school every day and I made it happen. So that's what I'm telling you guys. It doesn't matter how you feel about math, physics, anatomy, memorization, as long as you're dedicated, you're motivated and you're consistent and you go every single day, as bad as it sounds, C's get degrees, bro. And if you pass it, you pass it. If you pass your registry with a 76, guess what? You're a registered technologist and you're certified to do your job. That's all you gotta do. I'm not saying not to strive for best, not to strive for more, but I'm just saying, like, if you pass your registry, that's all that matters. If you get through the school, that's all that matters. So stop, let stop, you know, stop stopping yourself from becoming great. Stop psyching yourself out by being like, oh man, I was never good in school. Oh man, I didn't, I, I didn't make it through high school, man. I, I, it's just not for me. Oh, I went to college and and I picked the wrong career and I dropped out. Don't, do not let that stop you guys. I'm telling you. I, I look at this. I am a prime example of what not perfection is. I'm not perfect. I went through this. I didn't make it. 
I went to this. I didn't make it. It doesn't matter. Stay on what you believe in. If that career wasn't for you, even if you go for x-ray and it's not for you, you got to drop out, it's okay. Go do something else. Do not let that stop you from becoming great. Don't let that stop you from reaching your goals. Don't let that stop you from, from being successful. We all have our, our, our bumps in the road. We all have things that we go through in life, man. Do you continue it. Keep pushing through life, man, because guess what? Life is going to kick your butt regardless. To this day, I still get roadblocks, but guess what? I'm mentally strong and, and I pray every day to the Lord Jesus Christ and he always sees me through, bro, all the time. So listen, again, you got this, guys. You got this. Do not let this time pass you by because in 10 years, it's still going to be 10 years and time is still going to pass by. And guess what? Either you're going to move on with the times and be better than you were 10 years ago, or you're gonna stay in that same mental capacity and be like, you know what, man, I can't, and you're always gonna be here, all right? So listen, again, I'm a prime example that anything can happen, and if you put your mind to it, it can happen for you. So yo guys, I hope that you enjoyed this real information, real content. I'm here to help you from my heart. I'm here to help you make a good decision for you. So. Thanks for watching. Y'all already know I'm always going to be here. I'm always going to come back with more videos and um, just stay tuned.